In news from Jamaica, Prime Minister Andrew Holness is calling for a bipartisan approach to tackling violence. He cautioned that the opposition and government must demonstrate a united political front if the country is to triumph in the war against criminality. Mr. Holness made his case recently during his contribution to the budget debate in Parliament. He noted that the government is committed to per prosecuting those who are bent on causing mayhem in the society. Prime Minister Holness challenged opposition leader Portia Simpson Miller and the opposition spokesman on security Peter Bunting to put politics aside when dealing with the issue of crime. I don't see how we are going to tackle crime if the criminals feel that there is a political divide on the resolve to deal with crime. We have to come to a point as a country where we recognize that if the criminals believe that there isn't the political resolve, they will continue. And I am proposing, Leader of the Opposition and Spokesperson on National Security, that we, we somehow have to meet one-on-one -on -one and determine how we make a political pact against crime in this country. Meanwhile, the Jamaican Prime Minister announced that the government will amend the Bail Act to prohibit persons charged with murder from getting bail. A domestic violence coordinator will also be assigned to all police stations. Mr. Speaker, in addition, the government is planning to amend the Bail Act such that persons charged with murder will be ineligible for bail under certain circumstances. Again, when the Attorney General makes her presentation, the Minister of National Security makes his presentation, the details of these proposals will be made known. Mr. Speaker, 37% of murders are domestic in nature, where perpetrators and victims have a familial or social relationship. The government will therefore be installing within the ranks of the police force a domestic violence co coordinator at every police station. We will also establish a consultative committee at every police station consisting of community leaders such as the Justice of Peace, pastors, school principals, community leaders, etc. Mr. Holness believes that most of the domestic disputes between partners which have ended fatally could have been prevented if there was someone present to provide assistance. Once there is a report to a police station of an incident of domestic violence, the domestic violence coordinator will be alerted. In parallel with the formal investigative procedure, he or she will visit with those allegedly involved and this visit will be followed up with visits from members of the consultative committee engaging those involved in a process of dialogue and reconciliation. The idea, Mr. Speaker, is for early interventions. Some of the crimes that we are seeing escalating could have easily been stopped if there were that intervention. And on a lighter note, the Prime Minister hit back at the former Minister of National Security, Peter Bunting, who is now the opposition spokesman on national security. Mr. Holness said Mr. Bunting had a sharp encounter last year in Parliament, while Mr. Holness quizzed him on whether the then government would be accepting the UK prison deal. It is one of the few times that I rose in anger in the House when I had an exchange with you when you were the Minister of National Security. And outside of that, Mr. Speaker, we are, we are very cordial to each other. But the, the member, in response to my aggressive... I, I, <laughs> my, my uncharacteristically <laughs> aggressive... A better word, my, my passionate... <laughs> but, the, but the member at the time, I'll never forget it. He said... He said, you will never lead the government again. You remember that? <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> right? And he wants to lead it. He wants to lead it. Member, member, I wish you luck. <laughs>